Welcome back to My Head Hurts All The Time, also known as Contrast. Today we're going to figure out this puzzle. What's in there? I don't see a collectible. Get in there. Oh man. Looks interesting. Am I actually able to get in there? I think I am able to get in there actually. No. Really? No, it's not closing. Oh, I just got an achievement called No Backpack Bird Needed, which is fucking cool. No Backpack Bird Needed. Yeah. Where am I going? I have no idea right now. I am tired. I need Coke. The drink, that is. What's this button? Ball! I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Continue, please. Was I meant to break that? Isn't the bow supposed to shoot it again? Okay, well... That's cool. Oh, that's easy. Let's get over here. Just go through here, most likely. No, I can't. How do I get over there? Tentacle! Tenta tentacle. I got a tentacle, I'm riding a tentacle, riding the tentacle, riding the tentacle. Oh, fuck. Riding the tentacle, riding the tent. Oh. Riding the tentacle, riding the tentacle. Go. Fuck you. Riding the tentacle. My brain hurts. My, my brain hurts. What do I do? Do I have to do the dash? I did it. I did the dash. There's a door that I can open. Brilliant. Brilliant. I am the master of everything. I'm gonna not get that thing right now. Master of everything, master of everything. Let's fire this cannon, shall we? I have a feeling it's going to be somewhere different this time. I have to... Ooh, floating. How do I get it in there? Do I have to put it on here or something and then push the button? I don't know if you noticed, but that arm's on fire. I don't think the arm is meant to be on. Is it like a stickler? Hey, do it. Is this the most stick? That was even worse. Is this some retarded thing? I, I think I know what I have to do already. And it's really clever, but it also seems like something that wouldn't actually work. It's... It, it, I don't know if this is going to work or not. May as well try. Let's see. Let's put that there. See, that works. I don't think it's going to work. 
Oh fuck, it's actually working! That was what I was meant to do. Unfucking believable. Well, uh, it didn't take me that long to figure out, I guess. So that's cool. That was fun stuffs. Cool, we defeated the Kraken. Well, I defeated the Kraken. Yeah, big squid! I don't know, whatever. Who cares? It's a big squid. Oh no! Wait, it's a whirlpool! He's sucking us down! Who is? We're sinking, we're doomed! It's Davy Jones walking through us! I don't think it is, really. Is this a boss? Is this like a boss battle? Okay, well. Deliver the final blow, I guess. Uh, no. Um. <laughs> well, I've got to move that first, don't I? So. Oh, wait, there's a platform here. Go down there. Um, this work? Yeah, cool, cool beans. That works. I got something. Um. Jump in oh well no mind, can't jump in that. Did I fuck it up? Oh, there's an up here. Do I have to jump into the cannon? Maybe I need the amount of luminum in the mins. Uh Wait, there's a down! Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I need the cannonball to fit in the cannon, and I need the cannon... Cannonball... Oh, God, I'm tired. I'm gonna have a nap or something after this. Cause my brain is the sorest. My brain is the sorest. I've got a sore brain all the time. Well, not at all the time, but get what I mean. When I'm playing this game, I taste soap for some reason, and I have a sore brain. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. Right, so I got the thing. Put it in there. Deliver there. Deliver the final blow. I mean, what was meant to happen? Oh, Wait a I minute. There's nothing actually broken. I bet it's just something you forgot to turn on. How would you have gotten out if you didn't have enough aluminum in the mins? I bet 
there's just like one thing he forgot to do, and that's why the whole ride isn't working. It's probably in the control room, or the engine room, or something like that. I don't know why, but I'm gonna be. It's dark out there. How are you gonna climb on shadows if it's dark? Hey, this is that maintenance room I was talking about. We're here? Where'd she go? Okay, well, she's somewhere. I don't know where. I think we can restart the whole ride. I knew it. I knew it was something simple. Okay. I think all we need to do is pull these levers at the same time. Uh oh, this sort of puzzle. That work? That that must have. I'm having to take some. I think we fixed the whole thing. Don't know that 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 that's a lot of steam. the last attraction. First of all, where is that? It's somewhere. Is this it? Wait, did I have to re-get the thing for this? Nope, I don't. Ooh, it's like in the horror movies of a ye old. It is the it's a cinema. What? Hey, has anyone seen the princess puppet? We can't really start the story without her. That sounds like daddy. I know she's around here somewhere. I get to be a princess. Yippee! I don't know, whatever. Who cares? Ha! I'm a pretty princess, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. What? That made no sense at all. There she is. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a castle with her father, the king. The king loved her very much because daddies love their daughters. Do they? Unfortunately, the kingdom also had an ogre. It was a wart on his foot! Because ogres do that. So, the king did what kings do, and promised that anyone who slew the ogre would get to marry his only daughter, the princess. Oh, no. And become king when he died. The king's lands were very far away, and the ogre was very large. I mean, I so guess ogres... One knight showed up. His name was Fred. Where? And he fell immediately in love with the princess. I can't stand on him. Fred was a brave knight, and he marched off the next morning. Get out of here, Fred. Brave song as loudly as he could. Then he got eaten by the ogre. After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. Probably got eaten by the ogre. She set off into the forest to look for him. The princess tracked Fred's footprints through a strange wilderness full of scary sounds and hidden dangers. This is cool. It's like the a... Filled with razor sharp this looks like Limbo. Fortunately, she was a very brave princess who loved adventures. I do love adventures. She used her wits to get past unexpected obstacles. Can't use my, um, dash. Can't use my dash for some reason. Right, so, I get it, okay. Let's continue on with this puzzle platformer that hurts my brain and makes me taste soap for some reason. Look at the leaves. 
She couldn't even Ow. swim. So what do you think she did? Ow. I know what she did. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, Jamie Crystal those crocodiles. That's right. Just like Harry? What? That's the photo of a pitfall Harry. It was a magical forest where the plants seemed to know each other. She had to use magic mushrooms to get high. Hurrah. <laughs> really? This is fucking weird. So, right, go. Oh, that didn't quite work, did it? Right. Okay. Get up there. Go. Ow. Fortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. <laughs> what? Wait, that's not what happened. That's bamboo as well, by the way. Why is it bamboo? Alright, let's jump! I fucked up. Whoops. Dong! 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 Right, let's go. Up we jump! I fucked it up again, damn it! Damn you, physics! Physics are my, no are my mortal enemy, man. If physics didn't exist, I'd be able to fly, like Superman. I wish I could fly like Superman. Ugh, I keep jumping too early, man. Yes. I impaled myself on bamboo again. Wait, that's not what happened. Okay, well. I obviously need to stop impaling myself on bamboo right now. There we go, I fucking did it. Bendy tree branches to fling herself across a patch of deadly sharp bamboo. What's down there? Oh, nothing. Just some flowers. Really? A campsite? But that's a bridge. Why is there a bridge here? No, that's an ogre. <laughs> and there's Fred. So, is this like a boss? What do I do? Come on, get me. It's like the spider. Come on, get down there. The princess was a woman of action, and she was nimble, and the ogre was clumsy and easy to taunt. What's a taunt? That's when you make fun of them. Except to die. Never make fun of people, but with ogres, sometimes you have to. Come on, get in there. Come on, put the. You did it again. Okay, well, that's very nice of you, Ogre. I hate the Shrek memes! They made my family hate me! So the princess tricked 
and rescued Fred. Fred didn't feel too good about it. He really loved the princess. Really? Fortunately, the king told him about a giant spider that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand. So Fred marched off to the lair of the giant spider, singing a brave song. <laughs> a little less loudly than before. I love this story. Several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. Okay, now I hate this story. She went off looking for him again. Fred's footprints led her into a dark and creepy cavern. Well, this really is a limbo. Strange dripping sound, kind of like the basement at school. <laughs> really? Her footsteps echoed and echoed until it sounded like someone was following her. Soon she came to a vast pit filled with vicious, deadly spikes. That's a pretty vast it pit. Too big to jump over, but far off, she could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? She used an umbrella. What? Like that nanny in that movie. <laughs> this is the Middle Ages, honey. Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know. That's what she used. I don't. I. I don't think I have an umbrella. Well, you better find one, because she used an umbrella. Where am I supposed to get an umbrella? Is it like... Um... Aha! Interesting. Oh, uh, there we go. So, the princess bravely threw herself into the air, slowing her fall using an umbrella. Just like that nanny in the movie. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. That was the only Kirby song I could think of that wasn't Green Greens, by the way. Da <laughs> There's a boulder! Holy hell! There's a boulder! Holy hell! There's a fuck! I'm dead now. There's a boulder! Holy hell! 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 There's a boulder. Holy hell. Here. Catch me, boulder! I don't know, whatever, I don't know. Is this seriously in the in 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 the banana banana? A giant spider jumped out of the shadows and attacked her. Wow, this really is limbo. Let's go, jump. Oh 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 oh! This guy's catching up, really. It had eight legs, and the princess only had two. Yeah, princess only had two. Why can't you give me more legs? I'm just a shadow. Get, come on, get up here. No, don't. Don't you dare, spider. Spiders. Eh, 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 eh. What am I meant to do? Oh, okay. The princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. Can I jump? Okay, well, it's dead now, so that's cool. But where's Eric? Fred. Was all I mean, up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. He was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really loved the princess. Don't you dare. The princess decided he was cute. Fortunately, the king Fuck. told him about a dragon that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand. I'm not ending the episode until this is over, by the way. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon. Singing a brave song. 
<sighs> Several days have passed. After a few days, the princess got to wondering why her guy kept trying to give her away. That too. But she was worried about Fred. So she went off to find him. Bloody fucking. How does that even work? How does this even work? Look at those mountains. And the wind howled at her to turn back. There were rock slides and fire. Ah, that's a rock slide. Okay, well I, I wasn't expecting that. I was just gonna keep on trucking, trekking. Up and up she climbed. When she got cold, she thought about the hot buttered muffin she would make once she got Fred home. Apparently, I died by going into a cavern. Princess hoped Fred liked muffins. What? Oh my god, I get it. But I can't use my thingy. I can't use my super dash. I mean, that worked, I guess. I don't know. That boulder, that boulder is a really scary boulder. Okay, there's two. Boulder respawn. Oh. Okay, right. Let's go, up we go. I expect that there's going to be another one. Yep, how do I know? It's going to be another one, isn't there? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for there to be another one, matey. Uh, whatever. Into this shithole. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the dragon's cave. Was this like a so boss? She haunted the dragon until it roared its fiery breath at her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit awkward. Get. Truck door. He's a dragon and a dragon man. And I think I forget it really. He's a half dragon and a half man. Trogdor! Oh, hold on a minute. <coughs> Trogdor! Trogdor! I don't know. Really trying to go on another adventure again. And they had hot buttered muffins every morning. That sounds very nice. There is another version of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures, but that's for another day. Don't tell me there's a bonus. Yay! Yay, Dawn, you did it! I am Dawn. I am Dawn. I'm gonna presume that the act is gonna end, sh like, shortly thereafter. So I'm not gonna end the episode until the act is over, really. Until I get this cutscene done. Jump. Jump and have fun. Yeah. Get over this fence. Good damn it. Stupid. That's dumb. I probably have about like four episodes right here. Let's see what happens. What is this, a lion tamer? Vincenzo came back! Hey, what do you think, Vincenzo? Did you ever consider trying out for the trapeze? They're good at what they do, Mr. Fenris. I'll give you that. I got my they are, Mr. Back. Penis. I got a princess for my puppet theater, and my pirate ship is sailing the bounding man. So you're a man of your word. 
Go ahead. Count it. It's all there. Need a what was that? stuff? My apparatuses are very delicate, and I don't like anyone in my workshop. Provide the audience, Mr. Fenris, and I will provide amazement. Really? Mr. Fenris, why are you organizing this circus? I know who your investors are. Well, I promised my wife and daughter I'd clean up my act. But if I don't pull in the crowds for you, those boys are going to put you in the river. They don't care, indeed. I wouldn't care much if they did. Apparently, I have one new item in my inventory. I didn't talk to him. I didn't talk to Vincenzo. How do you know? This is confusing me. Because they're all shadows. And it's fucking weird. So, act free. Turn a blind eye. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. That act two was a shorter. Actually, no. Actually, they were no. Act two was slightly shorter. So I'm going to go now. Go watch some Beard Brothers play Saw or something. That's what I'm doing.